For God has made her forget wisdom and has not given her a share of, of understanding. <clears throat> Yet when she lifts herself on high, so swift is she that she laughs at the horse and his rider. So a lot of people's arrogance is going to bring them down. A lot of people's uh, mental health is going to diminish. The psych ward is going to be filling up. It's going to get pretty bad. We confirmed that yesterday in scripture. Let's see. And then me and my Heavenly Father are watching this movie yesterday. Take this season of grace seriously. Thus says the Lord God, I will spread out my net over you with a company of many nations, and they will bring you up in my net. Then I will leave you, Egypt, on the land. I will hurl you on the open field, and I'll make all the birds of the sky dwell on you. And I will satisfy the animals of all the earth with you, and I will scatter your flesh on the mountains, and fill the valleys with your debris, your corpses and their worms. I will also water the land with your flowing blood as far as the mountains, and the ravines will be full of you. And when I extinguish you, I will cover the heavens of Egypt and darken their stars. I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon will not give its light. All the bright lights in the heavens I will darken over you. As for my children, remember this part. So, whatever it takes, by any means necessary. And I will place darkness on your land, says the Lord God. I will also put fear into the hearts of many peoples when I bring you destruction and captivity among the nations and the countries which you have not known. So I will make many peoples appalled at you, at your judgment and your defeat, and their kings will be horribly afraid. So that's... Uh, Primarily, I say primarily, primarily for people that hurt other people. Now, many would say, Lord, <clears throat> you lied. Your cat didn't like tuna fish. First of all, that's Mary's cat. Second of all, that's my cat. Third of all, you were not here <clears throat> when I opened the second can and fought with the can opener and then had to take the fork, and twist it around, twist it around, twist it around, use the edge, push up the lid. That bowl was empty until this morning when I fed my cat and I poured milk for it. So what I'm saying is you don't need to jump to conclusions right now about who I am, what I'm doing. There has been a huge timeline, prophetic and in the spirit, since all of this began in 2009. So where you're at in it is where you're at in it. Make your decisions based on, well, one, what I'm telling you, we have a season of grace. And I was praying about it this morning and analyzing me and my wife's Mary's problems in our marriage. I live in an uncontaminated, 
Holy Spirit filled airspace, which I'm used to. Mary is usually coming out of a demonically infested house or um, situation. Then the two worlds collide. So when you're valuing your kingdom marriage, and if you're one of those people, because you have two types. You have one that values the marriage because it's God's marriage and you want to please me. Then you have the other one that says, well, I don't know if this marriage pleases me. Will it make me happy? And they're making their decisions that way. The one that thinks that way, nothing is going to make you happy. Because you'll be away from me. Nothing will satisfy you. You won't live a fulfilled life. The one that is valuing the kingdom marriage, <clears throat> because it's with me, is going to be happier Perfect. 